This is for you commercial guys on uh, sidewalks. You got about an inch of snow on these sidewalks. The snowcaster versus a traditional snow shovel. Flip that thing around and start pushing it back the other way. I'd say this sidewalk's about 70 feet long, four feet wide, and that's pretty much done. Took them just a couple minutes. One more pass up through there and he'll have this knocked out. Yep. Here's another application for you commercial guys. If you're plowing, one nice pass along the curb throws the snow out so you're not putting snow back up on the sidewalk that just got cleared. Right along there, have your sidewalk crews push that out. Come back and pick it up with your plow. Oh, sorry about that. There you go. A couple minutes and you're done. All right, you got uh, handicap spots that are an issue. You just push the snow out for your plows to pick it up. Again, you'll notice the bi-directional blade, you can windrow that snow whichever way you want. There you go. Expose that curb right there so your plows know. There you have it guys. A couple minutes and you got a couple handy, handicap spots in the ramp done. Alright, let's compare the snowcaster to a more traditional shovel or even a little bit of a pusher. Notice the time difference, the savings that you got with the snowcaster. This way, you got to just take little passes. Use the difference on your back, the amount of time.
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Andy's talking about how much more he's got to bend over to do this uh, traditional snow shovel or traditional uh, even a snow pusher. How much harder it on on his back having to bend over like that. So he's done about a third of the amount of walks in the same amount of time as the snowcaster with a traditional snow, uh, snow shovel. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side of this with the snowcaster. Show you how much more efficient it is. How much more upright he can stand, less strain on his back. There you go, it's about half the time, at least, maybe even more.